Hey folks, long time no see. I know it's been difficult. I should say because I went back to work and by the time I come home from work, I take a shower, I eat and I go to sleep. I don't really have time to uh, record. So now here it is, the day before Easter. And I just like to talk about how in my neighborhood, uh, for some reason, I, I'm not sure, and I'm not trying to be racist, but it just happens to be the Mexican people. They always have their food carts sitting out, cooking hot dogs on a put-together cart. And I say put-together, they have a basket with uh, some kind of heating underneath it with the little top, a tray where the hot dogs are, are cooking and there's nowhere for them to cook their, to wash their hands, wear gloves. I mean, you can put gloves on and cook the hot dogs, but at the same time, there's no, there's no uh, top compartment. So what I'm saying is, why are they out here, just say for instance, on Wilshire and Western, on Vermont and Wilshire, uh, A Street and Alvarado, uh, there's so many places that they are out cooking food. There's no place for them to wash their hands. There's no place for birds not to land, let their little droppings end up on the food. They're cooking it, and they're selling it on the streets. That should be illegal. But no, it's like... It's illegal, but you don't ever see the police putting them out of service, telling them to close shop and either taking their food and throwing it away or, you know, making some kind of statement on the news so that everyone, I'm sure, has TV that they can see that it's not good. But then you see our people, and I say our people, you see African American, you see Asian people, you see white people going up to the carts, buying food, and not knowing if the food is even safe to taste and right there you can see that it's not safe it's not sanitized for their hands washing uh you don't even know what's in the trees what's going to come down and land on top of the food i'm sorry that's nasty that's not even good now then you have the ones that are walking up and down the street with the ice cream what i mean by the ice cream the ice cream could be in a container, at least, in, in, at least the ice cream is inside um, a lunch. Uh, what is it? A cooler, and it has a top on it. That's that's a little better because that way you see that the ice is covered and it's not getting infected by the fumes of the streets. Versus the food that they're cooking on the corners, where you see the fumes of the cars passing by, the fumes of the buses passing by. To me, that's just nasty. I don't understand why people enjoy eating the food. And if you want a hot dog that bad, go to Wiener Schnitzel. They have good hot dogs, and they're that they're not much. They're not. They don't cost that much. Usually, they're like two for three dollars. But once again, you know, you're you're placing yourself in a situation where you can get sick. If you realize you're sick a few days later, it could be from that hot dog you purchased on the corner that the fumes are coming up versus the birds and the pigeons passing by. There's no canopy covering the food. To me, it's not the canopy. It's the, the point that it's on the corner where people are going past. You got different diseases out there in the streets. You have the homeless versus the people that are sick, that have the flu. All those verses, people coughing. <coughs> Half the people in, in the United States seem like they don't cover their mouth. And then they wipe their clothes. They wipe their nose like this with their arm, and that's nasty. I don't, mm -mm. Eh, I will never, never buy any food from anybody on the corner. No, once upon a time, we didn't even have signs A, B, C, D on the counter, I mean on the window of stores, but now you do. So having an A and a B is pretty good inside of a store versus a C. C means it's not cleanliness. They might have some roaches on the floor, they might have some rats. Maybe the food is left out too long. Bacteria has built up. No. I just want to understand. 
Shut those prices down. That is not good for people to be eating. And if you're one of those people that are listening or watching or you know family members that have a cart, think about it before you do that. If you want to be in business with some food, have yourself a, one of those mobile trucks. At least it's, you should be licensed. That way you can go around different cities and states, well, yeah, different cities and corners and sell your food and your hot dogs or your fries, your homemade chili, tamales, or, or whatever. But happy Easter and make sure you pay attention to what you're going to eat before you buy it.